All right, this video we're gonna be talking about patient connections and, and how we uh, how we connect to our patient up top. Uh, this is this one of course is for a compliant or an authorized climber. An authorized climber is gonna have his own harness on. Um, so one of the things um, that we came up when we were teaching and when we first started out was we were taking rope ops and rope tech classes. And one of the things that a lot of people do across the country is they connect into a, into a central D ring and then a dorsal D ring for the belay, right? And where does that come from? Well, it comes from guys wearing. Um, fire department harnesses when they're doing the rescues. Once, once we kind of got into the industry world and started doing spread and started doing some tower work and things of that nature, we started realizing that guys aren't wearing harnesses like rope access style rescue harnesses on. They have fall protection harnesses on, just like this one. So this is a typical harness that a, a window washer could use, someone on scaffolding, someone on a swing stage, or tower worker would use, where it has a sternal D-ring, it has a dorsal D-ring, it has two side positioning D-rings, but does not have a central D-ring on it, okay? And the reason being is they're not sitting on their on their central D-ring doing work like, like we do for rope access or for fire rescue. They're never on it, they're on structure. That's their one point of contact. Their second point of contact is what's going into one of these devices or into their work positioner. So they never need a central, right? So for rescues, um, what we do when we teach is we only go off of a sternal D-ring or dorsal D-ring. So. And again, that's because there is no central D-ring on most harnesses that, that people we're gonna be rescuing are, are in, okay? So, um, as you can see on this one, we have both going into the sternal D-ring. So why are we doing that? Well, one of the first reasons is we don't wanna go into a sternal D-ring and his dorsal ring with, for a second point of connection. So what's really gonna happen here, right? If he's having a medical problem, if he's having in suspension trauma, if he's hanging in free space from his dorsal or his central, if we connect one into the other, you know, if we are being redundant and we're worried about one of the lines failing, what's gonna happen? He's gonna go from here to here in a very violent manner and it's not gonna be good. So we go into one point of connection, um, into one point on his sternal or his dorsal, depending on how he's sitting. So if he's hanging on his dorsal D-ring in free space, we're gonna connect both in his dorsal. We're gonna lift him up a little bit, disconnect him and get him down to the ground. And same goes for if he's in his, if he's into his sternal D-ring. If he's in a sternally sitting upright and he's already in a good position, we're gonna connect both into here and bring him down. So um, how do, why, why do we do that? Obviously we talked about not trying to uh, be violently move the guy if he have to go on his belay. The other big reason is we're trying to get him down to the ground as quickly as possible and not having to jostle him in free space or up on the tower. <clears throat> and the other thing is that we, for, through rope access and sprat is how we see it. Um, is that these D-rings are considered a bomb-proof point of connection. It's an enclosed connection point. Um, there's nothing that can open on it. The carabiners are going into it and it's good to go. Now, that being said, what I'm gonna do when I come up to this guy is I'm checking his harness first. And I'm checking his harness to make sure that everything is good to go and is connected properly. And then I'm fine with that one point of connect, or that one point on his harness with both lines going into it, okay? If it's not, we're gonna bring up something else like the Bermuda or Pitagor, and we're gonna put that on him, and we're not even gonna worry about this, and we're gonna use our own patient packaging device to bring the victim down to the ground. Mm -hmm.